With violence against Asian Americans growing across the country, communities are starting to take action. Some places are forming safety patrols. Others are holding rallies to raise awareness. A grandmother attacked on the streets of San Francisco recently found more than one way to fight back. When it happened, she used a stick to fight off her attacker. Now that a GoFundMe set up by her grandson to cover her medical expenses has soared past its goal, she is donating much of that money to the Asian American community to combat racism. Right now, more than 1,000 Minnesotans are gathering online to hear from Asian Americans who have been victims of discrimination and violence. The goal is to promote awareness. WCCO's Caroline Cummings shows us how community leaders say you can help. All day today, I've just been wanting to do this. Ah! Cries of frustration and fear in the Asian American Pacific Islander community amid a surge in reported hate incidents across the country. Plus, the Atlanta spa shootings that killed eight people, including six Asian women. Authorities there are not ruling out hate crime charges on top of the eight counts of murder the suspect has already been charged with. We are trying to fight while we're grieving. Chanita Pangdara Potter is with the Southeast Asian Diaspora, or SEED Project, one of the organizations behind an event Wednesday night that aims to educate and equip Minnesotans with resources to combat bias, discrimination, and violence against the AAPI community when they witness it and hear stories of people who have suffered from anti-Asian hate. Not to say that Minnesotans aren't caring, we're, you know, but I think that sometimes we get stuck. You know, we get stuck at the moment and unsure what to do. A start, she says, is report what you see. Experts say underreporting is a problem. So the 3,800 hate incidents against Asian Americans reported by Stop AAPI Hate from March 2020 to February 2021 is likely capturing only a fraction of what's happening. You can report to that group or the Minnesota Department of Human Rights hotline if you've witnessed or experienced discrimination. Making sure that um, the racism that uh, folks are witnessing is being called out and and telling, hey, that's not OK, um, you know, and also um, um, checking on the person who may be also experiencing that or targeted for that. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Community leaders also want the state legislature to pass a bill that would plug some loopholes in Minnesota's hate crime laws.